purpose is a compilation of you saying yes to God's calling to different roles in different seasons. So you are only walking in your purpose as long as you keep saying yes to another role he calls you to. Okay. And a role is a set of responsibilities you know, that he's called you to for a certain season. So for me, hindsight being 2020, I was trying to think through what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life as opposed to just, what's next? And um, sometimes the next door isn't the ultimate door. It's just the door that leads you to another room on the other side of it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> um, long time no see. As you can see, I am in the car right now. I'm just leaving actually um, my orientation for my new job. So um, yeah, so I guess I'm just getting right back into it with just, you know, talking about that, I guess. Um, that's kind of like why I've been, why I've been MIA. Um, I've been MIA for multiple reasons, but that's one of, this is one of the reasons is because um, I was kind of like been looking for a job and so was, I was burnt out from being in the hospital. For those of you that don't know, I am a registered nurse. So um, I just recently um, quit my job working in the hospital and now I'm going to be working in like um, outpatient center doing pre-op and recovery um, for patients that have you know different procedures and whatnot so um so yeah so today was my first day of orientation i thought i would vlog this week like my first week um i thought it'd be fun you know to number one document this experience because i've always worked in a hospital i've never worked in like an outpatient center and i've been a nurse for 20 years for those of you that's, that are wondering so i thought it'd be kind of cool to document this week just to kind of document how the week you know went and everything like that so um but i'm back so thank you guys so much for being patient with me and for those of you that reached out to me on like dm and also um, under some of the comments of some of my other videos you guys reached out like where you been girl like what's going on like you quick youtube or whatnot um i took a little men mental health break for one thing <laughs> um and just took a break you know i like i said got burnt out from working in the hospital so this was just my you know my time to just kind of you know reflect and just recuperate and kind of rejuvenate my mind girl because yeah if anybody's ever worked in the hospital you know how stressful it is so um so i just needed this time to just kind of relax and get myself ready for this new venture that i'm on so um so basically what that'll mean as far as for youtube obviously i won't be able to put out as many videos as i had been doing like i was putting out three videos a week y'all so obviously i can't do that anymore because i with this job i don't even think i mentioned that with this job i'm gonna i'm gonna be working five days a week so i'm going back to full time because i was working in the hospital part-time so now i'm going back working full-time um like a more steady not steady schedule but a more of a i guess stable schedule like working monday through friday no holidays no weekends which i'm so excited about because i've never had a job in all the years i've been working i'm in i'm in my 40s y'all and i've never since i've been working i've been working since I was about 17 never had a job where i wasn't required to work weekends and or holidays so i'm excited just for that just to be able to be off on weekends and be able to plan things and i have to see oh am i working that weekend or you know even holidays i'm off every holiday you know and planning stuff is this my holiday work like i ain't got to worry about that no more y'all like i am so excited and just i just like i said i just got finished with orientation and um, it's just orientation, like general, like onboarding and whatnot. So I don't really know how the office is that I'm going to be working at or the the um, GI clinic. Because by the way, um, I'm going to be doing endoscopy. I'm working at an endoscopy clinic. So um, yeah, so that's totally different from what I've been doing, which is women's health. I've been doing women's health for probably 15 years. So I'm changing specialties, changing my hours, changing all the things. So yeah i'm just so excited for this new opportunity and for just the change y'all like sometimes you got to change it up and switch things up to be happy and to be stress-free 
and that is the goal this year is I'm, I'm focusing on myself focusing on my happiness and what brings me joy and if I got to get rid of people if I got to get rid of a job you know get a new job to do that you know change my mindset yeah I'm I'm am going you know I'm I'm going for my peace okay so um only thing is coming over here it's a 45 minute commute it's actually down the street from where I, from the hospital that I just left so um wasn't excited to be coming and doing this 45 minute commute um another thing I'm gonna not even be having to commute that far anymore I'm just going to be going 15 minutes um uh like 15 minutes away to go to work as opposed to 45 minutes so I'm cutting down even on my commute y'all like yeah I'm excited don't don't tell me God ain't good <laughs> don't tell me God ain't good and does not answer prayers um but anyway, so that's just like a little life update. Um, just like I said, just coming home or going home from my um, onboarding. So um, I'm so excited and just, yeah, just excited about this new venture. Um, tomorrow actually starts my first official day um, as far as in the um, endoscopy center. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure that it's gonna be more so orientation, just kind of getting to know the processes and all that. So. Um, I didn't, I, I planned on vlogging some of, um, uh, vlogging more today. Like when I first got there, I was planning on talking to you guys and like opening the blog then when I got there, but the traffic was so bad this morning and I was like trying to find a place to park because the parking situation there, they had like two levels of the parking deck, like closed off for construction. So it made it super difficult to even find a parking spot. It took me about 10 minutes to find a parking spot. So that took that took that time. Like I barely made it to class on time. I had to be in, in the class at 930 and I like got there at 930. So I know I'm coming. They know I'm coming. I know they going to be there and they know I'm going to do the best job I can possibly do. Yeah, I didn't have time to vlog it. I was going to. Yeah, I was going to record and all that you know recorded me walking to walking to the building and the building is really super nice and i was gonna record the yeah, girl i was just trying to hurry up and get there on time so i didn't even get a chance to pick up the camera but here we are we're picking it up now so and of course i'm stuck in traffic in atlanta it's three o'clock so probably not gonna get home for another hour and a half so so that's why i'm, I'm having the camera up, or i have the camera up now because we had some time to chat um but other things that's been going on that's basically it so I think the last time I recorded was in April. That's the last time I uploaded a video. So I obviously didn't upload anything in May. So not a whole lot of things will happen in May. You know, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Mother's Day, belated Mother's Day. Uh, what else happened in May? Uh, happy Memorial Day, <laughs> happy graduation to those of you that have graduated or have kids that graduated or friends, family, nephews, nieces, whatever that graduated, you know, college, high school, whatever. Congratulations to you and yours. So um, yeah, May was pretty busy. Um, I was planning on, I, like I had a whole bunch of content planned for May. But like I said, there's too much was happening as far as like life and just, yeah. So I just didn't record. I just was like, you know what? I don't want to get on there. If I don't feel it, I'm not going to do it. Like if I ain't feeling it, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to record because I want to be my full self when I, you know, uh, record and give you guys these this content. I don't want to half do it and half step, you know, so that's why I didn't record. So um, the beginning of May, my son, we actually went to... Um, where did we go? Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My son had um, a basketball tournament up there. He plays um, AAU ball or AAU basketball. And I was gonna even vlog that. That I think that's the week when I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a break. I don't. I'm not feeling it um, because, I, like I said, I was had already been stressed out and burned out. And I think I spent the first two weeks of May looking for a job. Um, and this particular job, I actually applied um, like the first week of May. Maybe it might have been the second week in May. I think I applied for this job when I got back from um, Chattanooga, or not Chattanooga, when I got back from Gatlinburg. Um, I, yeah, so I applied for the job. Probably, a, pro I probably applied for it over the weekend or something like that. And then I heard back from them within a couple of days, got an interview set up, went to the interview a couple of days after the interview, and then got the job the next day. So this happened pretty fast, which I'm thankful for because I didn't, I don't like to. <laughs> I don't like the whole process of, you know, looking for a job. I really don't. Even though I've had so many jobs working at so many hospitals here in the Atlanta area at this point, I do not like 
to go searching for jobs. I just hate it because I have to update my resume. And But anywho, so I'm glad that that process was only like a couple of days, like a few days, like a week. And I was able to get the job. So, um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on. Like, not, you know, not a whole lot going on. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know where I was just so you wouldn't be like, girl, what's happening? And, you know, for those of you that were DMing me like, hey, we miss you just so you know what was up so wasn't anything bad or anything like that i just needed some time i needed to get a break oh and i got my nails done as you can see um because the place that i am working now they do allow false nails because you know studies have been shown that they do not cause any more or they don't contribute i should say to um infection <laughs> infection so uh, but anywho so got my nails done i actually got them done mother's day and I got all the nails this color here this like nudie pink color I don't know if y'all can see that but this I think a couple of days ago I think this past Saturday because today I'm recording this on a Monday so this past Saturday I went and got my nails done got a little design I'm trying to do this I shouldn't be doing this and driving but um but yeah so just got a few designs on a couple of nails so and they're just pretty and just chic and simple but just a little bit of just a little bit of some extra personality with the design so um i got my toes done too girl but you can't see my feet because i got on i have on my um, loafers so i'll show you guys like my outfit of the day whenever um, i get home um and my shirt my little blouse here it's a little wrinkled i didn't have time to iron it out so i put on this blazer hoping that would camouflage <laughs> camouflage this uh a uh, very wrinkled shirt <laughs> i was hoping it that because it's like a satiny silky it's probably polyester girl but i was hoping that the wrinkles would kind of kind of flatten themselves out considering how hot it is today it's like 91 degrees and i'm in a blazer <laughs> um but we were inside so it's all good now I'm, I'm always cold so um but yeah that's it that's the update nothing a whole lot going on just wanted to update you guys um while i was on my way you know i'm commuting home getting you know so it makes sense to just come on here pop on here um but yeah your girl got a new job and i'm excited about it um so like i said i can't give you guys three videos a week because that's that's pressing it for me because i'm gonna be working five days a week so i only have two days pretty much two whole days pretty much which is the weekend and i know me i'm probably not going to be trying to do that every weekend <laughs> Um, cause I want to just rest on weekends, but, um, hopefully I can give you guys at least a video a week. That's, that's the goal. The goal is to give you guys one video a week, whether it be a vlog or, um, some sort of fashion content, um, or both. I may try to do two videos a week, depending on how my day goes. I was assured my, from my manager that I would not be going home every day exhausted and beat down. Like I just got dragged literally dragged um working 12 hour shifts um so i'll be working eight hour shifts so that's that's a plus in itself but i'm not going to be doing as strenuous and as stressful as as work as i have been doing and my boss assured me my new boss assured me of that so i'm holding her to her word because yeah your girl is about working smarter not harder at this big age in my life <laughs> so um but anyway so hopefully like i can do a video when i get home because my hours are roughly between seven and eight o'clock um to like 3 30 4 30 at the latest so i can get home at a decent time again i won't have a huge commute long commute like 45 minutes like i had been i'll just have a 45 minute commute now so i can get home you know and do a video if i feel like it so um but yeah i'm gonna try to give you guys at least one video a week so but it's, it's gonna be fun because i'm not gonna be stressed out girl i'm, I'm gonna be just we're gonna have a good old time on this channel okay uh from here on out it's gonna be a good time you know you're still gonna get all the content but um i'm gonna be more uh refreshed <laughs> i hope so i'm just gonna speak it i'm gonna be more refreshed and not so tired and try to push my way through these videos as i have been doing because i'm so tired um or just so stressed or whatever so but that's what your girl's been up to. I um, hope you guys have been doing well. Um, we, we know the summertime. Summer's coming. Summer is here, actually, in Georgia. Like I said, it's 91 degrees, so it's hot. Um, so it's we, we outside, and we just having fun. I'm planning on, like, hopefully 
doing things on the weekend like that's my little treat for myself i'm like you know what since i'm gonna be working monday through friday i need to plan things for me to do on the weekend to like to get me looking forward to the weekend right because i feel like i'm the type of person like if if i even if i have a bad day at work let's say i have a bad day at work or a bad week then the weekends would be my opportunity to do something fun for myself and it gives me something to look forward to like i like to have something to look forward to so hopefully i can plan things on the weekends even if it's just small little major things or small little things not major things but small little things um i'm gonna try to plan and of course vlog it like yeah we're gonna vlog these weekends if we outside doing stuff we're gonna vlog it girl so um but yeah so i have rambled for about 15 minutes so i'm going to continue to be stuck in this traffic i just have my air off because i know you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me talking if i had my ac up um blasting so i'm starting to get hot especially with this blazer on <laughs> um so i'm gonna turn my air on and continue to stay in this traffic girl that i'm so thankful that i don't have to have to worry about anymore like yes yes I, I was telling myself when I first got this job, or my old job when I was working at the hospital, I was like, you know what? I can do anything for three days a week. Girl, with this, with this traffic, three days a week. And then I dropped down to two days a week. No, baby, no. I, I like the fact that I can just be 15 minutes down from my down the street from my job. I, I appreciate that now. <laughs> but I, you know, especially after working two years. Yeah, two years would have been actually just past two years working in the hospital at this at the place that I was before I got this new job um I was work been there two years had been there two years so yeah I'm the type of person I don't know maybe this is me but after two years I feel like that's usually the cutoff point for me if I ain't feeling usually that's the time where I'm like well I, when I know if I'm really feeling a job or if I'm not and after two years I'll give you two years after that yeah it's time to go especially if I'm not if I'm not happy or if I'm stressed or if I need to change but I'm thinking um with with this new gig I'm thinking I'm probably done with hospital work like I think I have officially retired from being a hospital bedside nurse like I can't do it anymore so um I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm retired that way I, I won't go back <laughs> you know never say never but you know it's, right now no girl I can't go back to the bedside we'll see how we'll see by the end of the week i'll let y'all know by the end of the week after i've worked a full week um in this outpatient center if i can truly say that you know but i obviously you can't really tell after a week of working somewhere but all i know is girl i ain't, I ain't got to worry about the hospital hospital work or bed, bedside type of you know nursing um i don't have to do that ever again if i unless i just absolutely just want to so um but anywho i'm gonna get off here y'all because i st i'm just rambling um, but I ain't, I ain't seen y'all forever, so we just catching up. We just two girls, three, two, three, four, how many of y'all watching? <laughs> we just some girls just catching up, shooting the breeze, like, girl, where you been? You know, just having a conversation. So we just catching up. So that's how, that's what I look at it as. I see you guys as like my friends, my homegirls, my partners, whatever. Um, and my partners in this YouTube thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just want to catch my friends up on what's been going on with your girl. Um, but everything is everything. Everything is all good. And I pre like I said, I appreciate you guys that um, checked in on me. Like, where you been? And that, that lets me know that you guys love my content and appreciate it. And you guys are the reason why I will continue to do these videos, you know. Right now, as far as YouTube is concerned, right now, I just want to do it as just like a hobby. Something fun, you know, something to connect with other like-minded individuals. So I said I would like to do YouTube full time one day, um, and not to say that I still wouldn't if that were to be the case. But as of right now, until it happens, I'm just my focus on it right now is just it, it's just to give quality content and to connect with you know my peoples and you know catch up on life and yeah, just have a good time. So. Um, but yeah, so I keep trying to get off, but I don't know, I just come up with stuff to say. Like I said, we ain't seen each other in a month. We ain't talked in a month. So I'm trying to catch y'all up as much as I can. Um, but we'll get, I'll catch back up. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't talk. I will catch back up with you guys when I get home. Um, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I have been still doing some shopping, as y'all know. Like, that ain't changed. I, well, you know what, I haven't been doing 
as much shopping as I as I have been. Like this, I feel like May was a, was a low buy for me because I didn't buy a lot of stuff in May. Um, and the stuff that I want to share with you guys that I did buy and did purchase while I've been on this break, it was stuff that I bought in April. So really, I haven't actually haven't bought a whole lot of stuff in May. Um, I just recently bought some stuff. I think yesterday in June and um i think i got some stuff from asos and and i've got that stuff in june just purchased that stuff a couple of days ago and so in june so may was an was actually an unintentional break and an unintentional low buy because i didn't buy hardly anything in may i just was at the house chilling i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna nowhere do nothing for real um but yeah so i bought some stuff i'm gonna share with you guys i don't know if i'm gonna do it today or wait and do it later on this week when i pick up the camera we'll see but um, I do have some things to share with you guys that I purchased um, while I was on the way. So, all right, guys. So, I am going to catch back up with you guys later. Um, again, hope you guys have been well. And, yeah, we're going to start off my coming back to YouTube with a good old-fashioned vlog. So, all right, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. 2,000 years later all right guys so i have made it back home i gotta get used to back used to vlogging y'all um i haven't had this camera had turned this camera on in about a month or so um but i wanted to share with you guys like i said my outfit of the day um from doing my onboarding so this is basically what i have on just we had to do business casual so this is kind of like what i came up with um at the very last minute <laughs> i was running late this morning so i was gonna i had planned on doing like recording like a get ready with me and all the things and it just it, yeah it just didn't happen so um i had time to curl my hair this morning i put on a little makeup so after i did all that i just didn't have time to do my um outfit but this is the outfit the casual outfit of the day um i just have on these sunglasses from amazon this is an old blazer from zara I think this shirt, this like green, I love green. I don't even know what color green this is, like an apple, apple green? I don't know, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, this green blouse that I think is from Zara. This is old. Um, I have on these trousers. They're like a, what is this, like a plaid print? Um, and they are old from H&M. Um, and then I have on my little Prada loafers. And then I have my little speedy bag that I have be dazzled and put all kind of charms on it i've been loving that too lately here is putting charms on my bags i used to do that when it was trending a few years ago i forgot at this point when that was trending but i used to do it a lot <laughs> and so that's trending now it's like charms on bags so i just put like a few little charms on here um i'll do it like a what's in my bag um pretty soon and go over all that but but yeah this is the casual or business casual outfit of the day um like i said i didn't have time to iron this shirt so that's really why i had this blazer on it's kind of hide some of these wrinkles um and i just i just love like a little pop of color i didn't have a lot of jewelry on because um, like i said was running late so i just have my apple watch and then this little initial necklace that i got from anna louise it has my initial on it, it says c don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it has my initial on it so but yeah so this is the outfit of the day i'm gonna take these glasses off actually because i can't see in the house with these glasses on and then i do have a few things on the floor here so if you guys can see i have that zara box there and then some amazon stuff then i also have some thrifted stuff in this bag yeah i have a few other little goodies there that i will share with you guys um i'm not gonna do it now because honestly i'm a little tired and i want to really just take this makeup off and change it to something more comfortable so maybe later on today i'll share with you guys the stuff that i got um new in but i'm thinking i'm gonna get some stuff from asos pretty soon i may just do that later on i'm gonna vlog the whole week girl we're gonna vlog up until friday because like i said we're gonna document or i'm gonna document uh my first week at my new job Ooh. Let me turn it down. I'm too bright. Like, girl, I am too bright. So let me turn this down some. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to vlog the entire week of me starting this new job. So wish me good luck. Although by the time you see this vlog, I would have already done it. So <laughs> here's to hoping that it's going to work out. It has to work out because I ain't going back to the hospital. 
I'm just not gonna do it. So this outpatient gig is gonna have to work out for me, girl. So I'm just loving my hair too. I've been wearing my hair like in ponytails, so I was really quite a bit um, happy to curl it this morning. I need to wash it too. Um, and it's grown a good bit since last year. I cut it last April, so I cut it to like, I think I cut it to here. So as you can see, it's definitely grown a whole bunch since last April, so um, I'm sure by the end of the year, it'll probably be close to my bra strap. I'm sh I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, I need to wash it. I got dandruff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I curled it this morning. Um, it's kind of freshly permed too, so which is why it doesn't have a lot of volume in it. Typically after I freshly perm my hair, it doesn't have a lot of volume until like some of the perm kind of washes out. I feel like the perm, my perms wash out because I... I kind of dilute mine a little bit so they're not as strong um but anyway so this is the hair of the day too girl even though like i said i need to wash it because i got a little bit of dandruff going on but we're gonna ignore that girl um but yeah um that's it that's all i had to update y'all on um if i pick up the camera i'll pick up the camera if not then i'll see you guys tomorrow when i report for day one on my new job so but yeah so I will catch up with you guys at some point. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is the next day and I am getting ready to head out and go on my first day today. So um, yeah, so it's the next day and um, I am excited about my first day. So excited, excited and nervous. <laughs> So um, I just put my hair up like in a little clip and then just put like these little pieces down. I don't know. I don't usually wear my hair like this, but it's the first day. You want to make a good impression, right? Uh, so we'll see if I put these two up by the end of the day. Um, but yeah, just kind of packing my little fanny pack here. Um, they do have lockers, so I'll probably end up putting my stuff in my little in a locker if I have one. So, um, but. I am excited. It's about almost 7.30, so I'm going to get out of here at probably leave the house probably 7.40 to give myself time to get over there to factor in traffic if there's any. But I'm excited because it's only going to take me 15 minutes to get there as opposed to 45 minutes like it used to take me to get to work. So I didn't have to get up super early like I typically was. I was having to get up at 5.30 to go to be at work at 7. So I don't have to be at work at, until eight o'clock. So I can leave at like 7.40, so. Um, but yeah, just getting ready. Uh, my daughter has camp, so I gotta get her up so she can get to camp this morning. So it's a busy day for all of us um, on this summer day, so. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in with you guys whenever I get in the car and pull up <laughs> to the building. And yeah, see you guys in a minute. So I just made it in, or I just made it to the office. So um, here is to a great day. <laughs> Hopefully um, get these eight hours knocked out. I got to go to Target after I leave here. So um, after I get off work, because I have run out of my eczema lotion. So we'll go there too. And then um, I need to figure out what um, me and my kids are going to eat. Um later on today so but anyway here is to a great first day y'all so wish me luck again by the time you guys see this i would have already this would have already happened so um but anywho so yeah so here is to a great day
Hey guys, so I thought I would pop in here real quick. I'm actually on my lunch break. Yo, why you mad at me? Cause your mama ain't fixing your lunch? She ain't fixing nothing like this? You ain't getting nothing like this? Bro, I will give you some of this, but your mama should have fixed your lunch, bro. And they provided some uh, lunch for us, um, as you can see. Well, can you see? <laughs> they provided like some pasta. I don't know where they got it from. Um, but I think the office manager um, ordered us some lunch. So um, I didn't have to worry about going out and getting anything. And I didn't bring any food. So I should have next tomorrow I'll know to bring some food because I'm just not used to <laughs> uh, taking food to work. Because typically when I was working in the hospital, I'll just go to the cafeteria and get something. So there is no cafeteria here. So I got to bring my own lunch or I got to drive somewhere to get some food which takes up some of the lunch break um, and we get 30 minutes I think it's 30 minutes it's 30 minutes or an hour I need to double check with my manager but I think it's 30 minutes so I'm just here eating my lunch um so just to update y'all so it's all it's 12 o'clock so lunchtime so pretty much the, since I've gotten here since 8 this morning I've just been on the computer doing computer work as you know you typically do when you start a new job um, especially healthcare, you do a lot of like learning stuff or things online that you have to do like pre-work stuff or pre, I don't know, not pre-work, but I guess it's like pre-work stuff that you do. There's modules and things like that, that you have to do, um, that are due. So that's basically all I've been doing all morning is computer based learning stuff. So and I still have a whole bunch to do, so she's just going to let me finish it up tomorrow. And then, so the rest of the day, the afternoon, I'll do, start like working with one of the nurses and kind of, kind of get a, like, like a flow of how everything goes and whatnot. So, so I'm excited about that because <laughs> I don't like to do computer work. So, um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Everybody's extremely nice and, you know will ask me I'm okay and all that stuff which I appreciate that um because you know some places you go and everybody that's stuck up and like they don't want to talk to you <laughs> when you're new and it cannot it, it can make you not feel welcome you know what I mean so everybody's been very welcoming and you know talking to me and you know just clowning and you know being friendly and fun so so a good first impression for the first day in the office so but yeah, so I'm gonna finish eating my lunch and then I'll check in with you guys um, whenever I'm out of work. So see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so day one is completed. I am now on my way to, um, I was gonna go to Target, but I know if I go to Target, I'm gonna spend more money than I should. <laughs> So, um, I'm actually going to go to Walgreens since I got to get some lotion. I ran out of lotion, so I need to go get, um, yeah, I need to get me some lotion. I use like, um, Gold Bond. It's like an eczema type of lotion I use for my legs. So I'm going to go get me some lotion and then go home. Um, but day one, day two, actually, I guess, or really officially day one, um, of me at my new gig, um, is complete. So it's a good day. Um, like I said earlier, I didn't do a whole lot today, mainly just computer work for like the first half of the day. Then the second half of the day, um, I followed around one of the nurses that does pre-op and she just kind of showed me a few, few little things, but wasn't, wasn't really much to show me to, you know, today because it wasn't a full day. So tomorrow I'll be full day, um, doing pre-op. So that's basically getting patients ready for, um, the procedure. So basically what I do is I get either get patients ready for getting a colonoscopy or getting, um, a, um, EGD, which is like an upper, like upper scope or a scope of the upper, um, what am I trying to say of the, um, upper GI tract. Is that, make, is that right? Of the upper GI system, if you will. And then the colonoscopy is like the lower. So pretty much. I have to do a little bit more further, <laughs> a little bit more further um, 
research on that because I don't have any GI experience. It's just, you know, gastroenterology. And I don't have any experience in that, y'all. I have women's health experience. So this is a totally different specialty, a totally different thing that I'm going to be doing or that I am doing now. So I, I need to do more research on exactly what it is that I'm doing. But basically, I'm getting patients ready to get a colonoscopy or getting an upper GI done and or and or recovering them after they get the procedure done. So it's just pretty simple, easy, sneezy work, which is basically what I've been looking for at this big nursing career age um, in my life. So, um, so everybody, the staff are really nice. Most of the people in there are new, <laughs> is what I'm, I'm gathering, is most people are there are new. So they've had a huge turnover, which I don't know if I should be concerned or, or but it's just, you know, that's the nature of nursing is people don't stay long. They, you know, stay just like me. I stay a few years and I'm out. So, and people leave for different reasons, various different reasons, right? Like, you know, either they found something else or, you know, there's different reasons that people leave jobs. So I'm not even going to get into it. All I know is that I'm going to base it off of how I feel. So, um, but yeah, so everybody's just been really nice really just cordial laughing having a good time i mean it's pretty much the pace is pretty much it's not fast paced but it's steady so which i like um because i don't like to sit around all day if i'm gonna be at work i need to be doing something to help make the day go by fast so um so it's pretty fast day even me being on the computer doing computer work the days seem to fly by so um just so so happy about that y'all like working 12 hours in a hospital is a long makes for a very long day and when you having to drive to work that makes for an even longer day once you calculate in the commute too so yeah so i'm just excited y'all i'm so excited uh, we'll see what happens towards the end of the week or after tomorrow when i'm actually doing a full day of working um you know doing what i'm supposed to be what i'm supposed to be doing or whatever so um, but yeah, so I am here at Walgreens about to go get some lotion and then I'm going to go home and lay down and yeah, so got to go in here in Walgreens real quick. All right, so I got my things at Walgreens. I got a few other things than what I plan on getting in there. Um, but they have like, I don't know if y'all know, Walgreens, they have like a dollar, they have like a dollar deals type of situa type of situation there, like on one of the aisles. I can, it wasn't even on the aisles. It was like on the back towards where the uh, cash registers are. Yeah, one of the workers in there was like, yeah, you need to go to the dollar, de we have dollar deals. We Cause she saw me looking for my lotion. Uh, my eczema cream and she was like we have dollar deals over there they have dove body cream on sale for a dollar everything over there is like a dollar so um i went over there and racked up a few things um so yeah i can't seem to go in the store and just get what i need and come out i always end up getting extra um but i end up getting yeah some body some that dove body cream it's real good um i'll show it to you guys when i get home and then um I got some moon pies because I love moon pies. That's like the best snack ever. Um, they were on sale for like, just like the minis, like a box is on sale for $1.25. What else did I get over there? I got something else over there. I feel like, I, oh, I got some Coke Zeros because we ran out of Coke Zeros. They were on sale two, buy two, get one free. I just needed one. Um, I probably should have just went ahead and got the buy two, get one free just because they were on sale. Um, what else did I get while I was there? I'll show y'all when I get home. We'll do a little Walgreens haul if y'all are interested. But um, I like going to Walgreens actually because they have, you know, I do the reward system. So you get so many points and you get so much money off. So that's really why I like to go to Walgreens is you don't get that at Target. I don't, at least I don't think you do. I 
maybe they do maybe they do offer that i just i just don't know i don't do it if they do offer it i get um i have a walgreens card so i get money off um so but yeah so i'm on my way home um i don't know what we're gonna eat tonight because i'm not hungry like i'm still full from the lunch because that was a lot that was a lot of food so i'm still full from that so i probably won't eat anything else tonight maybe like a sandwich or something so I need to figure out what my kids are going to eat. So, um, but yeah, so I will get back with you guys when I get home and show you what I got from Walgreens. All right, guys, so I am back home. So I thought now would be the perfect time um, to share with you guys all the things that I just recently got. Because um, I did tell you guys yesterday that I, have even though I've been on a little hiatus from YouTube, I've still been shopping. So um, I'm gonna share with you guys just a few things that I've picked up um, over the last couple, well, most of these things I purchased in April. But um, first of all, I'm gonna share with you guys the things that I got from Walgreens. Um, didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, I did get some little uh, mini moon pies. I love these. These are like probably one of my favorite snacks. I have lots of favorite snacks, but I love moon pies. I love them, especially the banana flavor. It's in particular the banana flavor. I don't, actually, I don't like any other flavors but the bananas. So whenever I see them, because for some reason they are hard to find. Um, but they have little minis, which are perfect, like little snacks. I can take these to work and just like have like a little snack. Um, and then I got my um, skin relief um, lotion. This isn't the, um, what did I say, the, the one by Aveeno? I think that's the one. No, Gold Bond. The one by Gold Bond that I use is actually Walgreens brand. I thought I would try it out. because I, I like to use the ones in the pump and they didn't have any at Walgreens. And actually, I typically get mine from Amazon, but I needed some lotion tonight because I don't have any lotion. So I just got this one, like the off-brand Walgreens brand. Just moisturizing skin relief lotion. Um, this has dimethicone in it, which is still like a type of skin protectant. Um, so I'll use this and see how my skin does with this. It should be fine though, but um, I only got it because they didn't have the one by Gold Bond in the little pump. They had like a squeezy little squeezy bottle, but I like the pump and it's more in it. So I got that and then those little Dove body creams that I was telling you about, I got two of those. These were a dollar, like dollar twenty-five. So I got two and I use like, I use really any kind of lotion up top just because I don't have bad like bad, bad eczema. The top part of my body is mainly my legs is that I break out, you know, in bad eczema. So um, I use any kind of body cream up top or like, you know, up my torso. So I just got two of these to use to use up until I can get um, the one by um, Sol, de, Sol de Janeiro. I love their, their you know, brand of um, body care products. So I'm going to get those. So. Um, but those are the things that I got from Walgreens. All right, I had to go change the battery out because my battery is flashing. Um, like I said, I haven't vlogged in a, over a month, so I was working off of a battery from April, so I had to go change my battery out. Um, all right, so then I got some thrifted pieces and some stuff from Zara. Let me show you guys the stuff from Zara. Um, actually, one of these pieces that I got from Zara, I haven't even worn yet, um, but one of them I have. So let me just share with you the one that I've already worn and they're just some shoes. And these are just like some little kitten heel mules that I got from Zara and leopard print. I've been loving leopard print. Anything leopard print I've been buying up. So I thought these were cute little mules, very like early 2000s vibe. So, um, and they're very cushiony too. So I don't know if they're still available. Cause like I said, I got these in April. So um, if they are still available, I will link them down below. Um, but they're just so cute i got size 41 which i think is a 10 so and they're pretty comfortable i haven't had any issues didn't have any issues walking in them when i wore them so um but yeah just got some little cute little kitten heels it has like a little bow detail here at the top here on them so those are really cute so i had to get those and pick those up from zara and then the other thing i got from zara is a red striped shirt i love red um, and I love rich and I love striped shirts. So I didn't have any red striped shirts. So of course this just adds to my ever growing collection of striped shirts. <laughs> so this one I got in a size large. I think that was the biggest size they had. And I like the little gold button details too. Just kind of, I don't know if you guys can see. And they're kind of like, kind of like in this square shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, they're like little gold buttons. Um, 
I don't know, it kind of elevates it a little bit and has like a little pocket here in the front. So um, I was hoping it'd be like more tunic size. I'm not gonna try these on right now, y'all, but I do styling videos. I'm, at least I'm gonna try to do a styling video. Um, do styling videos too for you guys. It's like I said, I probably won't do but like one video a week now that I'm working Monday through Friday. So I probably, <laughs> hopefully, um, I can do a styling video soon. So, but anyway, but I always, I'll always style up anything that I share with you guys. So, um, but yeah, so just a long sleeve. I was hoping it would be more tunic, more big, but it's kind of, looks like it's going to fit just right. I wish it was more tunic style so I can kind of wear it kind of like in a casual type of way. Cause I feel, feel like when it's more fitted, it looks more dressy. So I can wear this with jeans or some white, some denim jeans or some white jeans. I feel like in the summertime for that that summertime vibe this will be a cute shirt to wear fourth of july so all right so those are all the things i got from zara not many things just two pieces and then i also got some stuff from the goodwill i went to the goodwill back in april as well i went to the one close to my job or my old job um i didn't even realize they had a goodwill there i went like on after work one day just to browse in there so um the first two pieces these are things that i had on my little wish list that I wanted to get and I've actually worn these two pieces so I'm just gonna share share with you guys these they're kind of wrinkled because they need to be washed and they kind of been hanging out in my dirty clothes here um, but the first is just a white you probably can't see it but it's just like a little white cardigan it has like um, like little white buttons too that match the cardigan so hopefully you guys can see it and the camera's not blowing it out too much but um, yeah it's just a plain white it's really like a creamy off-white kind of color and it's long sleeve so um like i told you guys in one of my last videos um uh, i wanted to thrift like a black cardigan and a white like really lightweight cardigan that i can layer like if i'm inside or something i just need like a little bit um, of a layering piece just a small you know it's just a small little layering piece then i told you guys i wanted to get some cardigans so i got a white one found this at the goodwill and this is from the brand old navy so and a 2XL, so it is kind of big. Um, so yeah, so I got that one. And then I also found this one. This is a black, super lightweight cardigan. Again, it's wrinkled because it's been in my dirty clothes over there. And this is from the brand Karen Scott in a 1X too. So this is also kind of big. I want them kind of big. I know a lot of the cardigans, the way that a lot of the girlies, fashion girlies have been styling up cardigans, is like kind of fitted. But I, yeah, I like them more oversized just because I like them to be more comfortable. I don't like anything too fitted um, as, far, as far as like tops. So anyway, so I got a black one. So um, love those two cardigans. And I seem to always find when I go to the, when I go to the um, Goodwill, I tend to find the things that I, mean, that I want. So I don't have to start going, hitting up the thrift store more often. Um, let me get these two pieces out of the way, some accessories. I got, um, some scarves because I love scarves if you've been following me you know I try to get those anytime I go to the thrift store so I found these or this first one is one that I found it's like in this blue and gold and black and it has like some houndstooth to it um, the little tag is still on it this one was $1.99 um, so let me take the tag off because I have not worn this just yet um, but yeah this is what it looks like so very much so reminds me of like Versace kind of esque, if you will. So I thought this would be cute with like some navy, you know, in the summertime. And I just got some navy. Let me just show them to you. Some navy um, sandals that are like a airman's dupe. I just got these from Belk. So this will be cute with like a little outfit. Like I can wear just a basic neutral outfit and just accessorize with these. So, cause yeah, they're both navy. So. Um, but yeah, I really love this scarf. Really cute. Very, very much so giving me old, rich old lady vibes. So, um, and I just love like the different print on it. So, but yeah, so that was $1.99. And then the other one I got, um, the tag, I took the tag off of this one too, because I think I've worn this one. Um, but I'm sure it wasn't but $1.99. And again, this is giving me Versace vibes. This is like a, um, like a tan, gold, black and white kind of cream scarf. So, um. It has the brand on here. What does it say? Gel? I don't even know. I'm not even going to pretend. I guess it's a Parisian brand. But yeah, this definitely reminds me of Versace or it could be Hermes too. 
um but yeah just loved it love the color scheme like the color combination with this one so yeah had to get those two scarves i always have the best look when i go to the thrift store in scarves um and then i got two more pieces actually three so this next one i got i've also been loving um polo tops polo shirts are huge and trendy right now and i have a lot of ralph lauren like button-up shirts and like cardigans and sweaters but i wanted a polo um yeah like a polo shirt so this first one i got is from ralph lauren in like this gray color if you can see it and it's a men's i got this from the men's section and this was 6.24 for this so i thought this would be cute with like a satin skirt or something i love like the juxtaposition of something really dressy with something really casual like a um a polo top because polo tops are like i said trending and they've been styling them up in really cute ways just like that preppy style so um yeah i definitely could have my borrowed one of my husband's but um i don't know if he has a gray one but anyway so this one also i got in a size large so this will fit me just fine and oversized so got that one and i got another one another polo shirt this one is like in this red kind of fuchsia it's kind of fuchsia pink slash red um and it has like the green logo on it so i thought that would be cute definitely giving me like um you know summertime vibes right this one is more fitted so it's not as oversized as the gray one uh, but it's by ralph lauren and this one i got in a size large as well and it was 624 so not bad for a nice quality shirt and yeah it's wrinkled because all these are wrinkled actually because these have been in the bag and i haven't worn these pieces yet um but yeah so i got that and then the last cardigan i got i went cardigan crazy evidently um this one i don't know i was on the fence about it when i was in the store and now i'm still like why did i get this but um because it's definitely i don't know what i was thinking y'all it's a cardigan for one thing but it has like little sequin detail on it which yeah i don't know i I may end up taking this too and taking this back to Goodwill not to get a refund but just to like put it back into the mix to be sold again because yeah I don't know I don't think I like this I liked it at first because it had like leopard print and zebra print mixed together and I thought that was cute so I could wear this with leopard print or I could wear it with zebra print um but it's definitely I don't know it, it's it's super like um substantial too like it's not too thick it's not too thin um it's from the brand what is this brand Pieri, New York. Is that Pieri? I don't know if I, you guys have ever heard of this brand. Pieri, New York. I've never heard of that. It's in an extra large. But I thought it was cute and unique. I think that's really why I got it because I like to get unique pieces. I like to get basic pieces from the thrift store. But if like I want to like do something bold and just try something new, I like to get unique pieces like this. Nobody is definitely not going to be walking around like with something like this. So, um, but I don't know. We'll see. It's a good layering piece. You know anyway i can put it on on top of like a, a black top or something or like a black dress like a nice you know summertime dress to wear inside and i like the v-neck detail to it as well so um but yeah y'all i don't know what i was thinking when i got that because now that i think about it i don't really too much care for it and it was also 624 so but yeah so those are all the things that i got from the thrift store back in april um what else have i gotten um i think one more thing i'm going to share with you guys this is a more of like a luxury purchase so like i mentioned yesterday i believe um the beginning of may we went to um we went up for the weekend or, or on the weekend like the beginning of may like around cinco de mayo uh weekend we went to gatlinburg tennessee my son had a basketball game he plays aau basketball so we went there uh, for the weekend just two three days like friday saturday sunday we left friday came back sunday so i wanted a duffel bag i've been looking for a nice duffel bag for like weekend trips because now that i'm gonna be off every weekend i want to plan some trips <laughs> if, if it's not just for a couple of days and so i don't want to carry a huge you know luggage you know because that's the only luggage i have is huge it is huge it's literally a a huge luggage that i can put stuff in for like to last me a week so i don't want i didn't want to carry something around like something big like that just for like a couple of days so i went searching on vestiaire collective my favorite luxury secondhand website i get a lot of my secondhand luxury pieces from there and so i went in searching for louis vuitton duffel bag and i found one so here it is and again it's just a louis vuitton duffel bag 
and it's in really good shape as well um it is really good condition um it does have some signs of wear um especially like at the bottom here but that's to be expected so um and it didn't come with a strap i actually ended up ordering this little strap this crossbody strap i ordered it off of amazon so i just typed in literally louis vuitton straps and it just popped up it's not a louis vuitton actual louis vuitton strap but it is from basically what the website says it is a genuine leather is what it says so um but yeah it didn't so this bag didn't come with the strap so i just ended up ordering one on amazon to kind of match the leather of the bag and obviously this is looks more new than the leather on the bag but at least the color kind of matches so um because i didn't want to carry it like this like a crop like a top handle i wanted something that i could you know put on my shoulder like this you know um and yeah so i actually i thought it was bigger um on the website um actually from when i got it i was like oh that's not as big as i thought it was because it does fit my things in here but like i ca i pack usually pack a lot of stuff like i pack more than my clothes so i pack like um makeup stuff and then like all my skincare and body care so once you factor in all that stuff this is really actually too small i mean i guess i could condense my stuff i'm just not used to condensing my stuff so i'm gonna have to get some practice doing that as far as like putting like decanting is what i'm trying to say like decanting some of my bigger items so that i can you know use like little travel size um little travel size little containers to put in uh, my luggage as opposed to the big size containers that they come in so i'm gonna have to get a little bit of extra practice with that so i do have some stuff in here um some little packing cubes but i think i'm gonna do like a separate amazon haul because i do have a few things from amazon that i've ordered plus i have some things in my cart now that i'm gonna order soon so stay tuned for that i'm gonna do like an amazon haul probably towards the middle to the end of the month um as soon as i get my yeah i just have a cart going so as soon as i figure out all the things i want to get or if i still want to get my things that i have in my cart you know and then i'll do a haul um because i'm trying to shop like that now like keep stuff in my cart you know to see to think of to think on it and see if i really want it rather than just like impulsively buy stuff i'm trying to be more conscious of what i buy now especially it may help me out a lot because i did like i said in may i didn't buy a lot of things and i definitely um saw that i ended up not spending as much money in may as i typically spend so i like that i i like that <laughs> i like the fact that i can spend that i can save some money and not spend all my money so i'm trying to shop more you know um consciously if that if that makes sense like be more aware of when i shop uh, where i shop and what i buy honestly so yeah so i have an amazon cart going and we'll see if i get the stuff in there or not so anyway i said all that to say stay tuned <laughs> Or, um, an Amazon haul I will do an Amazon haul regardless if I even get the stuff in my cart because like I said I do have a few things to share with you guys that I got for Amazon even some stuff that I've gotten before April that I haven't even shared with you guys yet so I just yeah I want to make sure I get all my stuff in in because I gotta find some of the stuff that I purchased from Amazon um, but anyway back to the bag so yeah so love this bag and um, like I said I want to get um, a size bigger I think this one is the 40 or the, the size 45 maybe um i don't know i want to get the bigger size duffel bag because i want a duffel bag so i feel like this stuff will fit like i don't know i don't know i'm gonna try to make this work though because it's a nice bag and i really don't need all these duffel bags in my collection because i don't have anywhere to put the stuff so i'm gonna try to make this work by like i said downsizing some of my or decanting some of like my bigger items so i'm not like taking bigger items with me when i'm on the you know going on a trip somewhere so but i love this bag it's really cute and yeah i'll link the strap in case you're looking for a strap because i do have another speedy um bag from louis vuitton that i got from vestiaire collective that second hand that doesn't come with a strap so um, i'm gonna actually use this strap for that too so if you have any louis vuitton items that don't have the strap um that you can just get one from amazon so i'll link this down below for you guys in case you're interested in that um but i think that's all the things that i've gotten in recently in my wardrobe since i last you know did a haul or you know since the last time i did a video i think the last video i did was i did a haul so 
um but that's it so i am going to probably take a shower i don't know i didn't do any patient care today like i literally was like behind a computer for the most part and at the end of the day we just sat around and talked and she showed me like their process of how they do stuff so i really didn't do any i haven't i haven't touched the patient all day i really haven't so um i'm not in that big of a rush to get in the shower but um, i am gonna change clothes because i don't want to be in scrubs because i'm hot <laughs> so i want to get into some shorts or whatever so um but yeah so if i get up to anything um i will definitely vlog it but if not i will see you guys tomorrow for day three i don't know if i'm gonna film every day i don't know i feel like well i thought i'll film tomorrow because tomorrow will be like my full official day um working um at the um gi center so i'm gonna you know vlog tomorrow but i don't know about thursday we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> we'll see what happens but friday i'm obviously gonna vlog because that's gonna i'm gonna tell you guys what i you know what i thought about the week and everything like that so I'll give you guys like a rundown of how i'm feeling about this new gig so that will that's what i'll do on friday so and i think i'm gonna end this vlog on friday today is a tuesday so i'm gonna end this vlog on a friday and then start a new one maybe friday night maybe saturday so um yeah i think i'm gonna do that just like do like a monday through friday vlog and then do a separate vlog for saturday like the weekend i don't know you guys let me know what you think about that if you guys like want me to do videos like that because vlogs are easy to for me they're easier for me um because it's more i feel like it's more natural because it's i'm i'm just recording what i'm naturally doing throughout the day anyway as opposed to doing like a, a very just structured sit down video you know where i have to get my makeup you know put my makeup on and get get ready to all the things but i'm gonna be doing outfit videos so um i'm not gonna do all vlogs but um i can do some outfit outfit videos even incorporate them in my vlog so just yeah because outfit videos they don't take me long to film honestly and if i'm already ready then you know that's a bonus because i'm not going to be taking long to get ready so um because i'm already will be ready you know especially if i'm going about my day anyway so but yeah you yeah, let me know what you think i'm trying to do these videos more vlog style because it's more casual it's more natural like i said i'm doing things you know it's just what i'm naturally doing throughout my day anyway so but yeah so enough rambling for me like i said if i get up to anything else which i probably won't I'll probably just sit around and watch youtube videos and, you know talk to the kids and see how their day went and then go to bed later on tonight so um but obviously if i do get up to anything i'll come back on here but if not like i said i'll see you guys in the morning good morning it is day three so um yeah <laughs> we're gonna make it a good day my first full day um working um doing what i do so um yeah i just wanted to check in real quick and say good morning and it's a new day and today i have it on a scrub hat because yeah i just i figured i'll be doing more today so i just thought i put my hair up and i like scrub hats because i don't have to worry about doing too much to my hair um so but yeah so i just want to come out from here and say good morning and yeah let's make it a good day <laughs> all right guys so i am done for the day um it's about 4 15 actually got finished today at four o'clock um but right now i just left <laughs> zach's pieces i didn't eat any lunch because i really wasn't hungry at lunchtime they didn't provide lunch today um so i really just all i've had really to all day is like some coffee and then like i had like a little snack like a little moon pie that i got from yesterday so that's all i've eaten today because so like i said i really haven't been all that hungry honestly um well, one of the reasons why i have been hungry is because it's kind of been the day just kind of flew by today um so like i said today was my first um official day actually working and doing um the job and today my focus was just pre-op which is getting patients ready for either their colonoscopy or um their um egd or the upper gi scope so um and i did pretty good my the 
the nurse that was training me, she said that I was fine. And really, I just really didn't need enough. I really didn't need any more training because I pretty much knew what to do. Um, and uh, all that came from just my experience of being in like labor and delivery and getting patients ready to have either a C-section or getting them ready, you know, to have their baby. So that's pretty much kind of, it's kind of the same concept, just getting patients ready for a procedure or surgery. You have them sign their consent forms. You ask them all the basic like questions as far as their medical history, medications, and things like that. And then put an IV in. That's essentially all the job is really. So when you're pre oping so. Um, so yeah, the day just kind of flew by. It was just kind of at a steady pace, but it was, wasn't anything crazy. Um, so I like the pace of it. It's very much so like boom, boom, boom. And you know what, what to do. It's like very much so structured and uh, very much so not chaotic at all so um but everybody's been super nice and friendly still um everybody's just yeah real nice so loving that part still so um like i said i'm, I'm fairly new so you know the true colors come out <laughs> after a while so uh, but hopefully that's not the case hopefully you know the first impression is the um lasting impression um as far as everybody being really nice and helpful so um my preceptor is very nice and very knowledgeable of her job, so um, I feel like it'll be, I'll be fine. So um, I think tomorrow they're probably just going to let me do it on my own tomorrow and just ask questions, obviously, if I need help. So, um, but yeah, so it's been a good day um, and I'll be at it tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow because it's essentially going to be the same thing. So I don't know if I'll vlog tomorrow. I might skip tomorrow and just come back and tell you guys about Friday although because tomorrow's today's Wednesday tomorrow's Thursday I am getting some things in from ASOS some stuff that I ordered so I may do like a little ASOS haul I only bought two things so I may share that with you guys tomorrow as well so um but yeah so first day our first day like official day doing my job was um a success so definitely loving it I'm definitely questioning why I have not been doing this, you know, sooner. <laughs> so I was telling, so I was telling my manager because um, we were just kind of all talking at the end of the day, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." Everybody, all pretty much most of the nurses in there were like, "They're not going back to the hospital. Like, uh, it's a no go." And so I was just kind of like saying, I was saying I was questioning why haven't I been doing this this whole time? Because I've been burnt out from bedside nursing for about ten years and been trying to find my, you know, my thing that I enjoy and that's not going to cause me stress and so so far so good so but again like I said I'll give you like my full the full you know um, perspective of how I feel about this new gig um, on Friday so but yeah so I just wanted to pop on here and tell you guys that a little bit of how things went today so um, but yeah if I do anything today which I probably won't same as yesterday <laughs> I'm just gonna go home and chill hang out with the kids and yeah just rest and get ready for tomorrow although I'm not even tired so I'm not even used to that I'm first of all not used to going home and not being just dog tired so that's another thing we talked about as far as like going home and still being able to do things and not be too tired like I'm so grateful that if I wanted to do something then I could just because I'm getting home at a decent hour like it's all it's 4 20 you know um I'm getting home at a decent hour if I wanted to go back out like take a shower real quick and go back out and do something I can't my body is not you know um tore up from the floor up from working all day working 12 hours in a hospital so I'm definitely loving that part so but I'm just gonna go home probably just hang out watch a little bit of YouTube as I normally do and just get ready for tomorrow so but um yeah hope you guys are having a good day whenever you are watching this and yeah, I'll check back in either later on today if I get up to something or possibly tomorrow. So with an ace little ASOS haul. So all right, so I will see you guys later. Good morning everyone. So it is Friday. Um Happy Friday to everybody, um, or whenever you're watching this, I don't know. You probably won't be watching this on the Friday, but it's Friday today, so um, 
this is the last day of the week um started my new job so um it's been going good so far um still going great still everybody's been great um yeah so still enjoying it um i definitely will let you know by the end of the day <laughs> my full thoughts because today is apparently going to be a busy day fridays are typically from what i've heard are more busier so which is fine i don't mind being busy um so we'll see um how today goes as far as the flow and everything but i'm catching on pretty quickly um they kind of let me do my own thing or let me kind of do it um by myself yesterday like towards it like the middle of the day um so um but i'm catching on so so you know so far so good so um but yeah so i'm going to get ready to go in and yeah i'm gonna make it a great day and i will talk to you guys later guys so um to the week first week at my new job is com officially completed um i just got made at home actually so i forgot to pick up well i didn't forget i just my husband called me as soon as i got in the car so we were talking about some stuff so i didn't get a chance to talk to you guys right when i got off work but i just got off work literally 10 minutes ago so or 15 minutes ago so um but the first week has was a success um definitely i you know caught on quickly and again everybody's been nice and helpful so um just a few little snafus there um today but um you know it's my first week so hey you know um but for the most part i think i'm going to enjoy it i'm definitely going to enjoy um like i said being off work at like you know 3 30 4 o'clock so that i can you know do stuff um you know in the evening time if i choose to so i'm definitely going to love that um but i'm definitely going to have to get used to working five days a week let me shut my door here um but yeah i'm definitely going to have to get used to going to work five days a week and it hasn't been a struggle to get up i will say that um i've been having to be at work at seven the last i guess the last two or three days you know the last two days i had to be at work at seven um let's see last three days so i went to work at seven on wednesday thursday and friday at tuesday i didn't have to be at work until eight but the last three days i've had to be at work at seven so i've been getting up at like 6 15 and i haven't had any kind of struggle to get up um haven't been like super like sleepy or anything like that so um so it's been nice to kind of get a little bit of extra sleep in um but yeah, I think the biggest thing of the biggest adjustment is just having to get used to working five days a week. So, but it's not bad. So, um, but I'm loving it. Um, I hope I continue to love it. Um, one of the nurses that I was talking to today, she's been there, I think two months. So she was like, yeah, it just becomes repetitive and you're just doing the same thing over and over again all day. So, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> like I said, at this big nursing career age or stage in my life, I'm okay with repetition. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, at least I say that, but, but anyway, I like the stability, I guess. Um, and a steady pace, like none of that, like sitting around and just like, that's one thing about working in the hospital. Like it can get busy, but you know, it's just that, that part where you just kind of sitting around a little bit at the hospital. So, um, but this is steady, like all day is steady. Like you get, you pre-op a patient. Cause that's what I've been doing this week is pre-op. So you pre-op a patient, you know, get them to sign their consents, ask them about their medical history, put an IV in them and you're, you're done. Then it's on to the next patient. So, and Fridays, and I was told are typically busy days. And today was very busy compared to the rest of the days that I worked. It's pretty busy today because they had more cases today. So, um, so it's just been steady, just all day steady. So, um, next week i'm going to be doing post-op or recovery so i'm going to be recovering them after the procedure which is only like 10 10 15 minutes of recovery so just doing their vital signs um like blood pressure and things like that and just getting them to wake up doing the discharge instructions and then sending them on home so i was told that if i can do the pre-op portion that the recovery portion would be a breeze because there's nothing to the recovery portion of it you're literally just doing vital signs you're not doing all the other things that you do in pre-op so 
So that'll be good. So it'll be even, you know, easier for me to do the recovery because I'm used to doing that part anyway, as far as when I was doing labor and delivery. So, um, but yeah, so, so far, so good. I think next week will be my last week and then I'll probably be on my own, which I'm fine with that because again, it's just repetition and I'm been catching on pretty quickly if I do say so myself. So, um, so it's been great. So yeah, so here is to a new venture, a new you know, um, job title. Um, I'm no longer a women's health nurse. I am now an endoscopy, endoscopy nurse. So totally different from anything I've ever done ever, even when it comes to like the hours and, you know, all the things, the job itself, like, yeah, this is totally different. So I like it. Um, I'm liking the change. I'm liking the change and the change of pace and the low stress. So this is very much so a low stress job. I mean, it can be stressful if you, you know, allow it to be, but this is not, a, this is not, I mean, really, no, it's not a stressful job. <laughs> it's really not. And that's what I've been looking for and been praying for, for guys. Y'all, I've been praying for this probably, I've been burnt out, okay, of nursing for the past 10 years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I think a lot of it is not that, like I've been praying, but I think a lot of it was just me. Um, and God's just like, okay, just step out there. And just me being afraid of change, being afraid of, or just talking myself out of it. Because for the longest I'm like, I don't want to work five days a week. I don't want to work five days a week. And I've been saying that probably for the past seven, probably seven or eight years that I don't want to work five days a week. Um, and it wasn't until recently till I was like, yeah, obviously, because I'm doing it now. But I think that was what was holding me back was myself. I don't think it was just a matter of God saying, okay, you're not ready. I think really it was just a matter of me being in my own way. And I think sometimes, you know, it's not God that's waiting. That's not, or it's not us waiting on God. It's God waiting on us to make a decision and just step out on faith and just trust and believe that he's got it. Um, got you, got you, that he's got you, that you've made the right decision. So I think that's pretty much been my my problem is just me being in my own way and being comfortable being in a hospital setting and just fear of the unknown. Like, you know, I can't work five days a week and I knew I was going to take a pay cut. By the way, I did take a pay cut to take this job. Um, really, it's not a pay cut, actually, because I was only working part time in the hospital. So actually, this is a pay raise is if you want to look at it like that. I mean, I'm working more hours, but the rate, the pay rate is less. But to me, I'm at, again at a point in my life where all money and good money and money and everything. Like I'd rather have peace and, you know, and quality, a good quality of life than to make more money and be stressed. That, that's just kind of like where I am at this point in my life. Like I don't, I don't want to stress about going to work or have anxiety about going to work. Um, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm done with that part of my life. So um, so yeah, I guess, I guess really, I didn't really take a pay cut actually. It's actually a pay increase if you look at it like that. So, um, and I knew, and I, I, working part-time was not going to be a thing that I was going to continue to do. I mean, I was going to continue to do it if I was in the hospital, but I knew at one point I wouldn't want to continue to do part-time. So I was going to have to find something else because yeah, I just, I don't mind working, you know, and if it's something that I enjoy, I don't mind doing it full-time, you know, who knows, but um, but yeah, so that is the first week, guys. First week down and hopefully, you know, the rest to go until I retire doing this. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I, I give a place two years and then after two years, if I'm loving it, obviously I won't stay, but I'll give, I'll give anything at least two years and just and be like, okay, either I need to change or I don't like it, but I typically give up something two years. So hopefully this is it because I'm tired of job hopping honestly I really am so um but yeah so thank you guys for for watching and coming along with me this week um hope it wasn't too boring but um if you guys are if any of you are nurses that are watching me because I know I have nurses that watch me um who are thinking about a career change or not really a career, this isn't really a career change it's more of a specialty change so if you're like me, you, you know, looking to do a specialty change, you know, find something that kind of, find something that, you know, that you feel like you can do, that you're interested in, that just kind of capture, you know, just kind of, you know, piques your interest or whatever, and just go for it. Like, don't be afraid. It's, it's going to be scary because I was, I was a little nervous. <laughs> I was a little nervous because um, I found out two weeks ago that I got the job. So these last couple of weeks, I just kind of been a little nervous, you know, fear the unknown. 
but it's it, it's fine like I, now I can definitely say I made the right decision um, to leave the hospital and leave or quit my specialty and do something else I definitely don't regret that so um, yeah if you're a nurse or anybody really and you're looking for a change don't be afraid just do it just step out on faith you know especially if you believe in your heart that it's time especially if like all signs are pointing towards you making a change just step out on faith and just do the thing you know I mean if push come to shove you can always go back you know don't leave a don't leave a place <laughs> okay don't burn your bridge in case you need to go back over that bridge first of all um but if you don't like you can always go back right so that's the thing that's the beauty about jobs is they come a dime a dozen you know especially in the nursing field like we don't have any issue getting a job we definitely have good job security so try something different girl you know you just never know until you try so um but yeah thank you guys for coming along um i know a lot of you guys follow me for the fashion stuff but that will come um i think i'm gonna end this vlog well i am gonna end this vlog and then i'm gonna start like a weekend vlog so look out for that and there'll be fashion stuff in there um because i'll be in street clothes i won't be in my scrubs or have a scrub hat girl and just look I was gonna say look like a scrub, but I look like a professional woman, okay? I just got off work, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned for the fashion content if you guys follow me for that. Um, but yeah, I like the vlogs because you get to know me, you know, because I feel like I don't show, definitely don't show a lot of my, you know, um, part of me that is the nurse part of me and what I do as a nurse. I don't show a, a lot of that. And that's probably the, that's my profession. <laughs> that's what I do for a living, so. I want you guys to be able to see that part of me too. So, um, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog or the next video. All right. Take care guys. Bye.